Hello everybody, Fixer here. Welcome back to Tacoma. We left off going through this entire scenario over here. Um, which took up like most of the episode. Um, yeah, we, we've seen seen it all. There are other places to explore, like the personal quarters. Or should I let's let's hold on. Um, uh oh, my game froze. Um that was really weird. AI maintenance by J Chu. This volume is suitable to guide repair is suitable to guide repair and maintenance of most high level weak and semi conscious AIs. The simple indexing system allows Use even when AR is compromised or offline. This guy book has been rated highly usable. He's the foremost authority. It's relaxing music for the pooper. I wonder if I if I have I hope that was the door. Do I, do I have to put all these back eventually? Do I have to know what it says? Maybe. Let's move forward, shall we? That is interesting. There are scrape marks. Mirror. Wait, there was no other place to check in there, right? Wait, that's just the lounge, and there's just the pantry. Yeah. Evie St. James. That's all jacked up. Drink room. Ugh, really? All right, there's a thing right there. You see it on the little play line thingy? This is two months ago, by the way. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, I still had her toothbrush. I'm sorry. What else? What else was in here? Cinnamon. Ugh. Those two things don't be Get rid of that, girl. Those don't belong together. Nailed it! Alright, so we just learned that she likes music. She's cultured. That's all we really learned from that. So, I don't understand why... They, they call this personal quarters. Why don't they just say, like... Evie's quarters. What is her station admin quarters? Why does it say that? I don't know. Um. Okay. 
Great. I think that's all we got in here, right? So we got nothing in here. Now we know why she's got that big speaker in her office, right? Oh! Okay, well, nothing to do there. Uh, what else do we have? Oh. It, uh, oh shit, what, what key is it? I don't remember. Not, not that. Tab. That's what it is. From Venturis Technology, Subcontractor Farrier. For security reasons, AR crew recorded data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. Ooh. Anything else in here, guy? Personnel. So I guess I gotta go... Wait. Oh. Wait, I'm confused. Where where is the pathway that I came from? Oh, did I just walk right by it? Was it up here? It was indeed. Alright, I walked right by it. So we got lots of stuff to explore down here. Goody gum jumps. Let's look at mail. We are orbital workers. The end of the orbital workers safety bill. Voice of orbital labor. Another QR code. It's the medic. Friendly reminder! Obsolescence day. That's for Evie. I'm sure they all got one though, right? Uh, a fitness center. Holy cow. So much to explore. God, that scared me. Premium grade. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's do this one then. Please. All right, ladies. You have everything you need. Yep. Bo. Hold on. You have every everything you need. Who's the, where's the green guy? All right. We won't yep worry about the green guy then. I think the yellow is right there too. See it? Where do I access the yellow? Everything you need? Yep, oh. I'm clicking on her, but nothing. Alright. Thanks for offering to help. Oh yeah, no problem. I mean you know how much I love completely in line with What do you got here, girl? Yearly hand count inventory checklist. Air filtration valve cover. General fuel tank insulation, bunch of stuff I can't read. We connect you with licensed therapists on demand. We're here to listen when you need it most. Personalized therapy with licensed practitioners, Roberto Williams. Maybe, and I'm trying to focus on the bright side with Nat. At least it pays well. The the isolation pay, blah blah blah. Feel like I'm I'm holding her back. She's up here on this shit post on this shit posting because it's all I qualified for. She's up here on this shit, posting because it's all I qualified for. And she could be somewhere else, uh, somewhere so much better. Okay, I have to do this yearly task thing now. Thanks for your time. Thank you for using Ori. Bye, Roberta. Session ended. Your Ori licensed therapist today was Penny. <laughs> was your experience with Penny a uh, five star? Oh, God. I hope we never get to that. That's awful. This is the mechanical engineer, her. Yearly Inventory, Quality Assurance, and Count Day. It's the yellow guy. Clive. This is the guy who put on the obsolescence party. Already on it. Trying to get it all done before the obso day party tomorrow so I can party with a clear conscience. No, understandable. Tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention. Do you think Evie would mind if... Blah, blah, blah. Of course it's blocked out. No problem. Two heads are better than one. 
Damn it. It's not busy work. Kids don't start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay. So if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then? So we'll get renewed again next year? Oh, next year. Nah. I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Well, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, Hey, Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck, for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. Hey, oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. What's going on? Matt! Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my god. <laughs> Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Yeah. Nat, I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. All right, Clive, I would like to follow you. Where did you come from? I mean... Oh, there's people back there. Nope. That'd be nice. Well, I, I, be, oh, I went too far. Hello. Come on, traitor. Come on. Yeah, come on, traitor. Come on. BT would. Time as you know. God damn, this guy's going all over the place. Hold on. Oh. I tried to walk through the door just like you did. All right, so he starts here. Let's, Jim. let's. No, yeah. no. Jim is not there. There you go. Let's check this out. Off station AR call with Jermaine Burgess, Carnival Cruise pick. From Orbital Worker Union Local 1293, remember your rights. February 29th, 2080 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crew members. Historic Human Oversight Accord, putting a halt to the obsolescence of these brave workers and the farce of advancing automation. It is your legal right to celebrate this uh, momentous event on the last day of February each year, no matter what your employer claims. Report any attempts at worker suppression to your OHLU local representative on behalf of all your fellow union workers. Happy Obsolescence Day. Guide for the inspired social climber. There is no need for the workplace to be humorless as a morgue, undertakers aside. Yup, no, yup. No, page 18. Uh, make levity part of your work day. Shared experiences can find out what movies and TV programs are tickling funny bones around the office, and that's how fast friends are made. Let's talk about Game of Thrones. To keep things casual and endear yourself to the higher ups, refer to them by amusing and informal phrases such as boss instead of boss. Memorable bo uh, Bon Mots like Fearless Leader, Skipper, or Head Honcho. What the shit is this? Is this is this the kind of thing where, um, where, where we've we've relied so much on technology that we don't know how to interact with other humans now? There's always that one fellow, you know the type, who seems to forget his lunch more days than not and ends up buying the meatloaf from the company cafeteria. Ugh, I don't like meatloaf. So Clive is socially awkward, perhaps. Jim. Are you there? Ah, uh, hello. Oh, well, that's what we expected. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and you know, it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to Terra Firma safely? No! You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that... Oh, yes, come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol, then? That's tremendous. 
Eight months? <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta-ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Are you gonna miss me, Clive? I mean, if VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? Yeah, come on, traitor. <laughs> so do you suppose there's good news? That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't need so to see all this. Let's fast forward. All right, and it ends there. Okay, cool. Um, anything else in here I need to check out? What we got over here? Graffiti? Why the shit would they have that on a space station? That sounds like it'd be a pain in the ass. All right, well, let's, um... Where? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Where was his office? Not in here. Did I get turned around? I'll follow him back. Was it down here, really? Yeah, come on. All right, let's see what we got in here. I don't want to do that. The venture, the Venturist belts. Current employees and contractors invest now. Double loyalty when customers rent out your orbital bungalow. Coming online in 2088. Uh, Venturist belt operations team transfer requests. I would be honored to join your team. Contractor Siddiqui. That is that is that his last name? It is. We have received your inquiries about our application for position of Venturist belt timeshare sales coordinator. As noted in our prior message, your materials are under review and will be considered along with all other applicants for this position. We will contact you with any further updates as necessary. I'm guessing that's not the position he's in now, Operations Specialist. So he was going to leave anyways. They're shady shit afoot, guys. I think they're shady shit afoot. Good night. Clive Rowling Siddiqui. Blah, blah, blah. Security rating. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Issued London. Right. Call mother. Evie's birthday coming up. Gym locker 1407. Send request Evie special cat food. Don't slack off in gym. Search AR tutorial cake decoration. So 1407 might be important. Maybe. Um, I want to, I want to look at this again. Uh, sculptor Anna Banerjee Fernandez, 2073. Vessel in flight. Same sculptor. Pardon me, guy. T. Daily vitamins. One a day multivitamin. Yeah. Sorry, guy. Okay, good to know. Um, let's check out the other two dudes. You guys. Fitness room. Is it just green? Okay, we'll follow green. Oh my god, this is right away. Nicholas. Yeah, yeah, hold on with the Nicholas stuff. i read about you. Off-station audio call with Nicholas uh, Dagia Figuera. Okay. Off-station message with Mark. Hey, Mark, this is the article I was uh, talking about last time. We were discussing finances. Give it a look. Sorry to be a downer. Love you. The five myths of consumer loyalty. Real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. That's a myth. This may have been true in the earliest years of OSEP's official recognition of the loyalty economy, but think of it like diversifying your financial portfolio. Converted loyalty is just as valuable as original loyalty. 
While there are many companies out there, some more reputable than others, that will offer to convert your loyalty between parent companies, think of loyalty as working on the same compound interest system as retirement plan or 401k account. That's grandparents. When you draw your loyalty from your original parent company and transfer it, you lose all those years or decades. All right, so this is, is, is this another gay dude on here? So Andrew Dagyab. All right, so I'm guessing these guys are lovers. So who is, who was the other one? Where was he? Over here? Mark. So that's probably one of these guys' brother. All right. Probably his brother. Um, close. That's what I'm looking for. I know that you... Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... Listen, you have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Well, it's not his brother. Okay. And there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some that tuition out of the pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... Your stories aren't usually such... We're not rumors. all gonna get cancer or bone is, disease is or... Okay? I suppose I am real. Uh, listen, would it make you feel better to hear it straight from the station doctor? Wait. Okay, me? hold on. Me? Alright, this is annoying. I... I get that this can happen, that two people can be in the same area, but it's very difficult for me as a player. Now I've got to jumble two different conversations without a way to tune out the other one. So that, that I don't know. I don't like that. <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um, sorry. Well, at least it didn't last what long. Is it? I have my son, Nicholas, on AR, and he wanted to ask you... Oh. What? It's his son. No, you said you wanted... Okay. I didn't... I can't... I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Nicholas? Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um... It just, incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density... Oh, no. Alright, all right. pause it right there. One would think, in the future, when we do have space stations like this, that we can go to and fro pretty willy-nilly. I mean, we could go willy-nilly now, but these guys seem to be spending lots of time up here, and this is, like, really willy-nilly. Wouldn't things like um, radiation concerns be addressed well beforehand sending these guys up here, right? You would think... And they're contractors, they should know this stuff. If you're a contractor who works on space stations, this, sh this should be something you should know, right? Or or maybe the fact that he doesn't know, they're trying to give the idea that this is... This is no big deal. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Oh, we spent Let's rewind that a little bit. Is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density... Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. See, that's what I told him. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin, where were we? Where are you going, guy? Oh, that's the end. Um, alright, anything in here? We, we gotta follow the, the girl in blue. Non crew. Sorry, I'll get off. Oh, wait a minute. I told Non-crew member profile detected. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was turning off when, when I got on, but no, it was just he was in the way. Too funny. Hi. 
Alright, I'm not a crew member. I know I'm not, but I just wanted to see. <gasps> I had no idea I can interact with things like this. Lovely. Hwa! Oh, I'm weak. Alright. So, we're following the girl in blue. Alright. Sarah, the medic. Here we go. Through this, I learned that people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I this, I learned. Through this, I learned that people do not always want what they believe they want. Wait, wait, yeah. slow down, girl. What was that? Zero, three, three. Oh my God. Not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? There what? Do it. Through this, I learned that people do. Zero, three, one, five? Whoa! You bodybuilder? Fit monthly! What the fittest women in the world eat. Alright, well, I mean, we're just learning about people. Whole meal. Wonderful. Um. Avocado oil shampoo. Lovely. Alright, sorry girl, do your do thing. not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality, accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. <laughs> Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, no, we're, your stories aren't usually such we're not downers. All gonna get cancer or is everything or... okay? I suppose I am preoccupied Listen, with you your potential departure. Wait, okay, you mean on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um, sorry. What is it? I have my son Nicholas on AR and he wanted to ask you... What? No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Nicholas? Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> oh! Let's do this, before they get into that conversation. Richard Sturgeon's Zero Spiel, an Agent Robertson novel by Edmund Tran. All those names. Zero spiel, are you sure? Says her tiny. Never sure. Around the whirling vortex spins the tiny ball, the fulcrum on which the entire mission rests. Ryan Neva plus. No more bets, no more chances. Just this one. Her tiny's probability calculation fluctuate in Robertson's AR. Turn that off, he says under her breath. Don't need it. Um. So close her business score. Low Earth orbit has ever seen. Yeah, I don't want to read all that. Odin, what's my damn gym locker code? It's 0315. Of course, right. Sorry for bugging you about it. I don't mind. 0315. Uh, here's his contact info if you want it. Bye. Cluey Dog. Tangier Orbital Freeport, Low Earth Orbit. Hassan M. Message with Natalie. Okay. I like how they can text Odin. So she's giving Natalie some dude's info. Okay. More with Natalie. Well, it's it's lots of people, hackers, hippies, AI folks. Yeah, I mean, 
Tantris is cool. Okay, well, I've got a friend here, there, and you'd like him. He blah blah blah, and he has zero G bonsai. He has a zero G bonsai garden. That sounds fun. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Chloe Dog. I mean, okay, his real name is Hassan, but maybe if your contract doesn't get renewed, visit on the way home. All right, so she's hooking him up. What was it? Zero three one five. Before they get started, I'm gonna go open that shit because I'll forget. Um. Oh wait. Wait a minute. Whose was that? Not Andrew. Not Natalie. Was that hers? Was that Sarah's? Oh my god, I don't remember. I think it was. That's just in case I didn't watch her do it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um, but just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density... Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. Yeah, see? That's what I told him. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin. Where were we? Okay. Let's go... Let's go look in that dude's locker. Oh, I didn't want to do that yet. We'll do that next episode. But I do want to look at this. Uh, 88.5 kilograms, body fat 50%. Come on, Clive. College peak statistics. Yeah. Bunk drawer. Can I keep that? Um, I wish I had an inventory. All right, we'll put that back. Coconut lemon. Really? Gum? In space? I didn't know they had space gum. Alright, we'll get into the others some other time. What is that noise? Is it the showers? I guess it is. But it feels like it's like coming from around here. But anyways, we'll take take care of the showers, I think, in the next episode. We still got lots to explore. Um, fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.